It's August, and here's the news at Meridian. I thank Meridian and its CEO, my good friend, Ambassador Stuart Holliday, for being a vital partner of the U.S. Department of State. Here in Japan, Meridian has been an important partner in strengthening our security alliance, broadening our economic partnership, and increasing the people-to-people -people ties that hold it all together. From business to baseball and artificial intelligence, this year's Meridian Diplomacy Forum put a spotlight on U.S.-Japan relations. Leaders convened for the forum on June 6, the same day Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe met U.S. President Donald Trump ahead of the North Korea summit. The forum addressed the bilateral defense and security partnership, along with the two nations' tech and business leadership. Kevin Sushihara, CEO of Warner Brothers, and Dan Amos, CEO of Aflac, discussed the role of cultural adaptation to drive business operations in both countries. Ambassador Kostoshi Ikawa, Deputy Chief of Mission to the Japanese Embassy in D.C., paid tribute to the shared pastime of baseball, underscoring the importance of soft power and advancing diplomacy. We have a friendship built on a stable, uh, stable security alliance and a mutual uh, beneficial economic partnership, and ultimately uh, on close people-to-people -people connections. It is strong, enduring, and based on shared values and principles, democracy, human rights, and the rule of law. In partnership with the Embassy of the United Arab Emirates in Washington, D.C., Meridian sent an elite group of museum directors, curators, and other cultural leaders on a week-long multi-city cultural diplomacy delegation to the UAE. While there, the group participated in exclusive tours and meetings with their Emirati counterparts, including the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi, Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed bin Sultan al Nahyan, as well as visits to the Louvre Abu Dhabi, Sharjah Museums Authority, and Etihad Museum in Dubai. Delegation participants learned firsthand about the flourishing museum infrastructure of the UAE and how it has helped develop a vibrant arts culture and enhance global partnerships for bilateral collaboration. The largest cohort of American hip-hop artist educators to date visited Meridian in early June for the Next Level Orientation. These 28 artists are in the fifth cycle of the Next Level program, which is an ongoing collaboration with the University of North Carolina that leverages hip-hop culture for conflict transformation around the world. Stay tuned to follow the Next Level residencies currently in Uzbekistan and kicking off next in Turkey, Nigeria, Guatemala, Jerusalem, the Dominican Republic, and the Philippines. Last month, Meridian welcomed back Ms. Rosanna Schack for a second tour with the International Visitor Leadership Program, this time as an IVLP Gold Star to recognize her ongoing work advocating for women's rights and combating gender-based violence in Liberia. As one of only nine women elected to the Liberian House of Representatives, Ms. Schack serves as one of the leading voices for women's empowerment in her country. She also founded the nonprofit Think Liberia, a residential program to support and rehabilitate vulnerable girls involved with Liberia's civil war. The Gold Star is a special initiative that highlights contributions of IVLP alumni in their home communities and reconnects alumni with U.S. citizen diplomats and their counterparts. We started this in 2003 to get involved in the disarmament and rehabilitation of children that were used as child soldiers during our conflict. Um, Liberia had uh, 14 years of civil conflict and um, when people hear about child soldiers, you usually think of boys, but we in Liberia experienced more than 2,000 girls who were conscripted to fight. Stay tuned for the next episode of News at Meridian. Please consider donating to Meridian and joining our network. Meridian needs your support to continue advancing public diplomacy, global leadership, and cross-cultural exchange.